Hello, I'm Paul Douglas. This will be the final video in my series of tutorials on Bias FX, and today we're going to look at the Tone Cloud, in particular uploading your own presets into the Tone Cloud. So I covered the Tone Cloud in a previous video. It is where you can download other people's presets that they have created, and indeed you can upload your own for other people to do the same. We've got our Bias FX screen here. If you click the little cloud button, we arrive at the Tone Cloud. Um, we have been uh, briefly through these menus before, but if we just have a quick look at the preset uh, button. So uh, here's an example of, of some uh, of some popular uh, presets that you can download if you want. Um, we've been through how to do that in that previous video. Uh, we click on that PD here, PD My Initials. So this is my account on the Tone Cloud. So you can see I've got my tones here. These are five uh, presets that I have created and uploaded um, over time. And here are favorites that uh, I have found myself on the Tone Cloud rather liked. And I thought, yep, yeah, I want to keep those. So uh, I have favorited them. If we go back to uh, Bias FX main screen for a bit. So in the previous tutorial, we created this uh, tutorial dual amp uh, patch. Let's just have a quick listen. There we are. If we want to upload this to the Tone Cloud ourselves, very simply, um, we click this button here. So uh, the one with the down arrow is for saving locally to your computer. The one with the up arrow, up arrow, up arrow even, is for uploading to the Tone Cloud. So uh, you can see you get a little graphic there of what it look like, looks like, two amps and, and the effects we have configured. We need to pick a name for it. So. Um, uh, Uh, that'll do. Um, so pick a name, then uh, you can select a style, which is uh, what this will be tagged with when it gets uploaded to the Tone Cloud. So um, let's pick rock for this one. And you can write a, a description here. Um, if you're doing this properly, you, you'd you probably want to put something a bit more descriptive than that. I may change that later once this video is done. So then click the upload button. Takes a few seconds for the sharing to complete and your preset has been shared to Tone Cloud. So uh, there we are. Let's go and have a look now then. So if I go onto my account, you can see that that number has gone up from five to six now. Uh, let's just click on there. And sure enough, there it is, uh, a nice new um, preset. Uh, and now anyone else can download uh, and use that for themselves. What I found the Tone Cloud very useful for is for um, saving uh, patches not locally to the PC. So if anything happens to your computer, it crashes or you end up having to reinstall the operating system or something, uh, all your patches that you've spent <laughs> potentially many hours uh, curating, they have been saved somewhere else. So you haven't lost them um, and, and you don't need to set them up again. You just download them from the Tone Cloud again. Yeah, this one here, this Marshall OD lead uh, uh, preset that I set up, 146 people have downloaded that, which is a great surprise to me because um, it's so simple. Um, but, you know, that's great. I'm, I'm glad other people have managed to get some use out of uh, out of that preset I made. So let's just talk a little bit about searching and finding uh, presets that you might want to use in the Tone Cloud. Um, you have this search button up here, so uh, you can search for anything you want. You could search for a particular amp type or style of music or artist. Let's pick uh, Brian May, one of my favorite guitarists. Press enter there. There we go. And lots of uh, Vox AC30 uh, looking amplifiers, which you might expect. Um, let's click on that one. 
let's have uh, press the preview button. I, I showed how to do this in a previous uh, tutorial, but you click the preview button, you can get to play that sound without downloading it to audition it. Let's clear that from the search. Uh, again, you've got um, you've got a filter option here. So remember when we uploaded our preset that we made in the tutorial, we tagged it with the rock uh, tag. So you can choose to select in just rock or maybe rock and metal or rock, metal and blues. Um, and it will filter uh, purely based on that selection there. Let's clear that filter, reset it. And one last thing, we've got, uh, you can choose between weekly, monthly, all time here. And again, between the, the ones that have been uploaded the most recently and the most popular ones. It's all fairly self-explanatory really and quite easy to use. I hope you found this video and indeed this series of videos useful. Please subscribe to the channel. Please feel free to like and share this video. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Paul Douglas and I'll see you next time. Cheers.